All right, what you got, VJ? All right, guys. So today, more work on the Blazer. Um, you guys seen the last video where we lowered it. Six by nines for the rears, 450 watts, and it's got some MVX uh, tweeters with some crossovers. And then also he's got the four by sixes that go in the dash. And then he's got a Sony Bluetooth stereo. That's pretty dope. Installation kit for the dash. He got everything easy and simple over here. So that way um, everything's just gonna be quick connect. You don't even have to cut the wires or anything. So 1973 to 1996. So you guys can check that out. Here's the part number for that. And then also if you guys wanna get these speakers right here, here's the part number right here for these. And also the kit that we got for the rear. The kit that we have for the dash, it's from Crutchfield. So I usually don't order from Crutchfield. Doesn't mean that they're a bad business. But one thing I did notice that when you uh, put in an order for say the stereo and uh, speakers, they will give you recommendations on uh, wiring kits to go with that stuff. And they'll also uh, email you PDF file of instructions on how to install the dash kit your stereo how to wire up your your harnesses and everything for the stereo how to wire up your speakers and they tell you what you need to do the install so it makes it fairly simple that's pretty dope i didn't even know they did that so you just got a stereo and the speakers and it was just like yo you got this making model it's like here's all this other extra stuff to make it easier basically yeah. clear adapters just to put them together instead of using tape i mean you can still tape it if you want probably but that's pretty dope got the Bluetooth connected on the stereo um, popped out both the front speakers we're gonna go ahead and change that out um, I'm gonna show you guys the MVX speakers that we got and unbox them real quick so you can get an idea what they look like these are the original ones um, this passenger side didn't have no audio for some reason but I think it's just the head unit because as soon as we change the head unit and this is the stock stereo speaker um, it started working right away so I don't think we're gonna have a problem or an issue he's got this hooked up to his phone we're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox those speakers real quick and toss them in.
All right, guys. So we went ahead and got the speakers in the front end, uh, stereos connected, uh, other driver side speakers in. We did have to cut the back tabs on the back. There's two little tabs that go that hold the speaker. So basically, we cut those out because of the situation of the magnet was too big on this side for the the back of the plastic of the cluster. So we went ahead and modified that. We did get it situated. I didn't show. I don't have video of it, but we already got everything screwed in. We're gonna start working on the back, you guys. Um, on the back of the blazer, it's got four Allen keys that hold the plate on and the speaker should come out um, with the plate also like the front. So we're gonna go ahead and get this side off and the other side and uh, swap these out real quick. Like pockets, bird like pockets. You know they can't stop us. You know they can't stop. Keep my mind at ease.